Hey guys, Average Joe Arms here. And today I'm going to be doing a, a little range report, a little different. Um, this is going to be mostly on the optics on the guns. And um, I won't be going too much into the guns, but I will be making little observations and things I've seen today. Uh, so let's get right into it. And um, these all have Siley optics on them, um, which are inexpensive optics. And uh, I've had very good luck with them. Um, three of them are mine that I paid for, and one of them was sent to me by Siley. I'll show you that when I get to it. And, um, I'm just going to start off with that one because, like I said, that is the newest one. So, today is the only time I've shot it. And, um, I have this on my Canic Rival SFX. Uh, this is the Ghost HDG. And it is, like, supposed to be, like, a, um, Trigicon, a SRO, MRO, whatever they are. I'm not too sure, but it has a very big window on it. Um, it's supposedly very tough. I've seen a lot of torture tests on them. I'm not torture testing mine. Uh, I'm shooting it. And you'll see some footage coming up in a second, um, of shooting it. Like I said, this is my first time with it. It is pretty big. And, uh, I really did enjoy using it. It has multi-reticle. Uh, so you can do just a circle, you can do a circle with a dot in it, or just a dot. Uh, I'm not too big on the other reticles, and not just on this, on pretty much any optic, uh, even my rifle optics. Um, I'm just like a dot guy. I like to just have a dot, so it's nice that you have the choice. <clears throat> I'm sorry. And it is red. Uh, you, it is fully adjustable up and down. It's not auto brightness or anything like that. And uh, so far, I really like it. Uh, I put about 200 rounds through this today uh, with this optic on it and really enjoyed it. Um, shot very well. And And um, I, I'm really liking it. Now at the end, I'll tell you, you know, which one's my favorite. But uh, like I said, I am just going to mention a few little things just in case you're watching this and you wanted to know. Um, I don't have them with me right this second, but I'll grab them. And through the magic of camera, uh, I have the magazines here. So anyway, uh, I should mention that they are all empty. Um, everything today will be empty. Even the magazines are empty. So, uh, anyway, uh, I was shooting the Walter PDP, um, and I was shooting it back to back with this. So I have four guns in here today, and, uh, I was going from this to that. And one of the things that I did kind of, um, feel was they're very similar, uh, very similar in ergonomics, very similar, like in the takedown pins, the triggers, uh, just very similar, and I noticed when I bought this, when I first ejected the mag, uh, that it felt, looked, and everything just like a PDP mag. And these are expensive, uh, so one of the things I did find out is the PDP mag does fit in here great, um, but it doesn't go the other way, uh, just so you know. The Canic mags do not stay in, uh, maybe if it didn't have this mag well. Um, it would probably work in your PDP, but if you have the Magwell, and this is the Pro, so it came with that. I didn't have that Magwell, so. So anyway, um, that's the Ghost HDG, and I will be doing a lot more shooting with this and do a uh, much uh, more in-depth on the optic, give you some specs and stuff like that. Um, but, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Uh, but for now, this is basically just like a little range report, a little overview and um, I really enjoyed shooting this optic, and it's uh, pretty dang cool. So, since I already pulled this out, we'll go here next. Now, this optic I've had for a while now. I've had it on two different guns. It started on a dagger. Um, I did not like it too much on there, and then I put it on this PDP Pro, where it quickly became one of my favorite optics. This is a closed emitter optic, and um, I really like shooting with it.
shooting with it. Uh, this combination is great. It's got a rather large window. It's got a nice dot. Uh, I zeroed it the day I put it on here. I haven't touched it since. It's got over a thousand rounds on it on this gun. It's got around almost two on um, between the two guns. And uh, I really like this optic. It's really nice. If you're looking for an inexpensive closed emitter, and it's not really cheap. Um, it's a, it's actually I've seen them going on sale for like 150 beans, uh, but they were over two. So I really like it. Um, it was my first closed emitter too, which led me to my EPS carry, which I really like. So that Siley Bear um, is excellent. I really like it. Got some good shots with it. You guys will see them up over here and uh, really enjoying it. Uh, this is the Springfield Echelon. This was my gun. It isn't uh, anymore. I uh, sold it to one of my really good friends and um, he was nice enough to let me borrow it. Uh, the same friend that let me borrow the Glock 43X uh, for my other video. So this is exactly how I sold it to him with the TLR-7A and the cat on here. Uh, the This is just the regular cat. Uh, it's one of the least expensive uh, optics you can buy from them. And it's also the oldest one I have of all these. This I had the longest. Uh, I put about a thousand rounds on it. Uh, since my buddy's got it, he's probably maybe put 200 on it. Uh, he doesn't shoot a lot. And then today... I put about 300. Each gun got around 300. Um, one of the funny things was, that, like I said, I'm not going to talk too much about the guns. Uh, I was kind of sad for a little while after I sold it. And then after shooting it today, um, I remember why I didn't like it. It... It's not that it's not a good gun. It's a great, excellent gun. Um, <clears throat> it's just not for me. Uh, every Everybody's different. Uh, it's just not for me. It's an excellent gun. I've never had a malfunction with it. It didn't malfunction today. It ran excellent. Um, and he loves it. So that's what's important. And uh, it's just kind of it's kind of cool, though, to get to spend some time with it again today. And uh, it does shoot good. And... Uh, like I said, this is one of the cheaper optics that they do offer. And this one was a green dot, which I like. The rest are all red. Um, I do like the green. I also like that none of them are auto bright. I do not like auto bright personally. Um, it has nice big tactile buttons on it for the up and down. And it, it's kind of slim, fits this frame perfectly. Uh, I really like this optic. And it's worked really well for me. And then I gave it to him like this. And then I didn't have to zero it today or nothing it was right on just like the day i'd given it to him and uh just performs really well uh the only issue with some like this one uh that you won't have with the ghost or the bear is the battery if you want to get to this battery you're gonna have to take it off is what it is small price to pay um excellent optic for the price uh i really enjoy it and uh just had some good shots with it today really like that gun uh, I did save the Cat Pro for last. Now, the Cat Pro is another one of those that's not cheap. Um, it's kind of like, you know, this is the Cat, and then this is the Cat Pro. I do really like this. This is actually my favorite optic of all of them. Now, I have to be honest, too. I'm not sure if that is because it's the best of all of them or because it's actually on uh, my favorite gun. So that could do it. My other Apollo 11, the silver one, uh, I put over 8,000 rounds on it. And I had that this optic on it for about 7,000 of those rounds. Uh, maybe more. Uh, now is I put this on this since I had it. I shot 350 through this last week and shot another um, probably 250 today. I didn't shoot this as much as those, which is rare for me. Um, but just the way it worked out at the range and the stuff we did... So, and I was running out of time, but so far this optic now has uh, about another 550 rounds on it and, uh, just excellent. And the funny thing too, 
I took this off my other one. I put it on here. And when we went to the range, I wanted to make sure I figured I'd have to re-zero it. I didn't have nothing at all. Didn't have to re-zero at all. It was absolutely perfect. Um, probably Probably it means going from the same slide to a same slide, but still, that's very rare. And uh, I really like this optic. As you can see, like the other one was a little slimmer, uh, but this one actually kind of bows out and gets wider as it goes around. So the window is a little larger, uh, but just it has a side battery too, which is nice. You don't have to take it off for that. Uh, but I don't know what it is about this optic. It's just my favorite of all my Sileys. And uh, this is the Cat Pro. And the difference, too, is all those are RMR. Um, and actually, the Bear comes with two different plates. So you can do the Bear on a Glock MOS. It comes with an RMR plate and a Glock MOS plate, which is kind of nice. Uh, the Cat, I don't remember. I know it's RMR, but um, or maybe it's RMSC. Honestly, guys, I, don't, I, I think it's RMSC. Yeah. But... This is the Echelon, so you can go any kind of optic you want on it. Um, and it doesn't fill that spot. So, yeah, this is RMSC. I'm looking at the screw pattern right now between the Cat and the Cat Pro. And that kind of makes sense since they're uh, both one's a Cat, one's a Cat Pro. They are, it is RMSC. I apologize for not being more prepared. Um, but that is RMSC, RMR. The Ghost HDG is RMR. Um, the can it came with a bunch of different plates, which was nice. Uh, so, and this is RMSC. So, a lot of people don't like RMSC on bigger guns like this because they want a bigger picture, but the Cat Pro actually is pretty large. Uh, you do have your up and down buttons on the same side over here because you do have your battery door. So, I do kind of like that too. I can reach up and adjust either one. I don't have to change and look at this side, which I like. And, uh, like I said, it probably does have something to do with the fact that I can... That I love shooting this gun um, and these are not suppressor height sights on this gun uh, but I can absolutely I can co-witness um, bottom two-thirds or whatever but uh, I the way I'm sitting I can't really tell if I show you guys but take my word for it uh, please but cat pro for me and uh, you know as they keep coming out with new stuff the older stuff does go down in price a little so uh, I am thinking about getting another Cat Pro for my shield. Um, I'm not sure yet. Um, got something coming in soon and I'm moving stuff around. But anyway, I move my optics around a lot. And I do actually believe in that. I have friends who buy an optic and they're like, I just don't like it. And I'm like, why don't you try it on another gun? Because uh, like I said, did not like the bear on the PSA dagger. Love it on here. Um, I had the EPS carry on this gun. Did not like the EPS carry. Put the EPS carry on my shield, loved it on there. Put it on the Hellcat Pro, hated it on there. Put it on the P365, loved it on there where it's sitting today. So, um, you know, if you got multiple guns and you got the same footprint, try moving it around before you just, you know, go ahead and make the decision to get rid of it. Uh, because it is different. They're all, all of them are different. The way they sit, things like that. Um, how far back they sit like for me the pro and the 365 the way they sat back further uh the shield sits up further so it changes your perspective um you might have an optic you're really not a fan of and then you throw it on something else and you really like it so anyway guys that's just a quick little wrap up from me and like i said i shot the cat pro today this is the ghost hdg excellent the Siley Bear, closed emitter, um, awesome, and the uh, Cat, which is probably like a, a very good entry level if you're just uh, thinking about going to the range. And now, I would never tell anybody, don't put it on your carry gun. That's up to you. Um, I Like I said, this one, I, I would put this on my carry gun in a heartbeat. This thing has proven itself to me. Uh, the This one, I wouldn't because I haven't tested it yet. Uh, once I have, maybe. Um, but... If you got a lot of guns like I do and you just want to have fun at the range and you don't want to spend a ton of money, um, but you still want a good product, 
I think these are it, man. Um, I really like it. And, uh, you know, maybe you will too. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Stay safe and take care of each other. Average Joe Arms.